Blessed day, beloved. Blessed day to everyone. It's been a while. I was away. And I've returned. I needed to have time to talk to you guys. I'm not really happy today. If it's your first time to follow us, please do not forget to share, to like, to subscribe. And I'm going to need to see your comment and your input. In the coming future, we'll be organizing that we have a podcast where I'm receiving people giving this testimony. These things have been going long, for long, I mean. These things have been happening and we are keeping silence. Until when? Activists have spoken about it. Politicians have spoken about it. Civil society have spoken about it. What about us spiritual people? What are we doing about it? I want us to address it. I want us to engage. I want us to build the courage to look each other in the eye and talk to each other. It's not fair. And it's not honorable. When we are having parents engaging in sexual activities with their children, both mother and fathers, it's horrible. When we are having step parents engaging in that with they are stepchildren. That is not acceptable. Beloved, between us, I'm shocked and hurt. This thing is happening now. Our kids are no longer growing up with their children in the house. When you as an adult, you as a parent, the person who was supposed to guide the child to protect that particular child, become the number one abuser. What is that? When you are supposed to be the provider and the guide of the child, you use your position to abuse that child. Do you know what you are causing to our future generation? Because the child that you are taking advantage of for their ignorance today, tomorrow they will become adult, parent somebody's wife, someone's husband. What kind of society are you sending out there? We are sitting and asking ourselves questions. Why we do not understand these children? But there's a moral degeneration in our family background. There's a moral degeneration in our home. We don't know who we are. We haven't exceeded the level that the, the system and the colonizers have planned to colonize and brainwash us. Are we human or are we animal? You as the father, are you really comfortable to address in front of your child? When we are thinking or conceiving that idea, what is coming in your mind? You as a child, are you conceiving to undress in front of your parent? What is that? Why are you lost? Are we lost to this level? What is happening to us, guys? Who are we becoming in this society? You see people claiming how they are believers. They always confess the name of their God. They always want to show to everyone that they are all the holiest. Some they even take the audacity to label some of us who believe in our own creator and ancestors. But now what is happening in our society? <laughs> After all, this teaching you are acquiring in different places of worship you are going. What is happening to you? 
what makes you to become like an animal. Because it's only animals that can do that. Let us be fair and honest. No one is dictating you the age of your partner. It's your choice. No one is dictating you the culture of your partner. It's your choice. But that partner, are you going to choose only your children, your stepchildren, your nieces and nephews? What kind of human are you? Why you are a lost adult? Why are you embracing falseness instead of wisdom? Are we lost to such a level that we, if we don't even know who we are and why are we here? Guys, this thing is hurting me. And you can see young girls also claiming that they are comfortable. I'll be listening to one of the story, I think in one of the radio in Kenya. And this young girl, boyfriend, dropped her. He's the one who uh, sent the story to the radio presenter. And the guy claimed the girl was engaging in sexual activity with the father. They really wanted to confront the girl and find the truth. And the girl admitted without shame. She said she started with her father since she was 21. Now she's 25. She even claimed that she's jealous of the mother. What kind of moral are we bringing? Your child's relationship with them may have not been your friend. It's also a mistake to take your children from your, for your friends. They are not your friend. They will never be your friend. Your relationship with them, their parent, the child, is a beautiful and loving relationship. Unconditional love is worth more than a, child, a, a friend. So it's the most valuable relationship that you can have with someone. And then you turn that relationship into an abuse. You turn that relationship into incest. You turn that relationship into fornication. You turn that relationship into our holiness for you to gain what? Explain to me. There are billions of men and women out there. You can get whomever you want. Why is it so attractive to you only to your own kind only to your son only to your daughter only to your brothers only to your sisters to your nephews and nieces even to your grandma what is that earlier on on tiktok i was busy discussing on this topic on my lab day and one one brother who approached me he joined the live on tiktok he was sharing a story that happened here in South Africa. I didn't have the opportunity to see the video. Those of you who have seen the video, maybe we might remember the story. There was kids who went to play and they were busy swimming and there was an old lady who joined them in the swimming pool. She was a teacher. So there were school kids. People, they think the teacher is there to guide the kid. When the kid, uh, the teacher in the water, engaged in sexual intercourse with her, one of the child. And the kid was 11. The kid think it's normal. He went home and tried to rape his own mother. That's where the story come out. So why is this, this moral degeneration amongst us, guys? Why are we lost to the point where we don't even value ourselves 
our culture, our tradition has become very, very misregarded in the name of immorality. Do it with other people, but not with, not with your child, children, not with your relatives, not with people who you're supposed to be the provider and the protectors. There are a lot of women who want men out there. There are a lot of men who want women out there. There are even those who want just pleasure, fun. Why you have to do it in your own home, in your own family? Why are you destroying your own future? Because that is the future generation. I'm very disappointed, guys. That's why I'm encouraging you to join us in the spiritual awakening community. Because with the spiritual awakening community, which we get SAC, is, is a platform where will be now guiding, empowering, and decolonizing our mind. We need to decolonize our mind. Our mind have reached a nexus of brainwashed and programmation. We need to go back to our authenticity. We need to go back to our identity. Who are we? What is our purpose and mission? For those of you who have been victim of these things, you are carrying bad luck. For those of you who have been victim of incest, incest and rape, continuous rape, you are carrying curse upon. You may see that everything you are trying in life you're going to reach a certain point you're getting. Maybe your relationship do not work. You, maybe you might never confess this to somebody. Maybe you just went and get healing. You take them to court. They get arrested. What have you done spiritually to repair that? Because each individual person got the individual way of solving their problems. Which one did you apply? If you still need help in order to address this issue, join our community or contact me in person. We're going to help you. There's a way to help you and remove that generational curse. Because whoever did that to you, this person never left you. Regardless, they claim they were conscious or unconscious. It was never their place to do what they did to you. They were supposed to be the opposite exactly to what they did to you. Maybe as you are listening to me now, tears are, fall are falling in your tears, or, 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 uh, in your, or from your eyes. Maybe they perpetrated already dead. Maybe they are somewhere living their life. But they in injured you to the point where they don't even realize it. They've attracted the dark cloud in your life that you can't breathe. We're going to help you clean it up. If you are listening to me, you're still doing it with your father, you're doing it with your mother, you're doing it with your siblings. It's time to stop. And don't just stop and keep quiet. Stop. Seek help. And appropriate help when this is done. So I'm telling you, it's very wrong of you as parents to take advantage of your children in that manner. Is it even very wrong of you to contemplate your own children in a sexual way? You don't justify their body, their dressing up. Us in Africa, we were growing up where our mom, our sisters, they were topless. Why our grandparents were not raping them? They were just covering their private part. We were growing up as kids, still being fed by the same woman, 
why we never we never go back and wrap them. And their body never changed. It's always been like that. So there is no reason that you can put forward to say, what led me to this is because she was dressed improperly. No, that is not the reason. You have been contaminated by wrong seat. You need to come out in the open. Seeker, we're going to help you. Remove that curse. We are busy blaming our authority. We are busy blaming the whole continent. The system is not working. The system is not working. Our authority are coming from our family. They are member of our family. And when you as a parent, you are doing this to your children, you are destroying the very foundation of the family that's going to give birth to those authority. So we're having sick people in position of authority. Not because they chose, because they were victim of people like you who don't know how to keep their zip closed, who don't understand how to keep their pants on. What are you benefiting when you're doing that to your children? What are you benefiting when you're doing that to your nieces? And then after doing that, hypocrite that you are, you're going to come out there, first some of us, and pretend to be a very honorable and example man after abusing your own kind. What kind of love are you going to do? Why we so hate ourselves so much to the point where we start destroying ourselves, even the fruit of our, our womb, we are destroying them. Why? Where is this hatred so deeper to the point where we can't even express it. And what are you suggesting that we do? Because what we are doing is not all affecting you, it's affecting all of us. Your daughter can be my daughter in law tomorrow. Your son can be my son in law tomorrow. Those are the people that you are destroying. Those are the people that you are destroying. Can you look at me in the eye and say, it must stop and seek help? We're going to help you in this question, but you need to commit to stop it. All of us have been victims of the slavery, colonialism, neocolonialism, imperialist system. We still the victim because we are born under the system. We've been compelled to comply with the system. It's only all of us together can decolonize the mind that the system has been created in us as it is. What you are doing, I'm telling you, is not good. There are consequences, tremendous consequences. Very huge one. The time will come when we start podcasting with the victim, and you're going to hear the testimony of what they went through before they receive help. So you, if you are the kind of stepfather who go after your wife's children, if you are the kind of stepmother who go after your husband's children, if you are the kind of father who go after your own children, you are the kind of mother who go after your own children, you are the kind of uncle who go after your nieces and nephews, you are the kind of auntie who go after your nieces and nephews. Stop it. Please, stop it. It's wrong. This foreigner, mentality which you are bringing into your bloodline, cast it out. Seek help. Before everything is lost, before everything is destroyed. When I'm talking about everything is destroyed, your kid will become drug addict. 
they will become hardcore criminals that you can handle. They will abuse you and kill you. They want to destroy what you have built because of your lust without wisdom. If you find yourself in a situation that you can't resist, if you truly believe that is the time that you need help, then contact me. I'll help you. Contact me. Or join our organization. We're going to see how best to assist you. Beloved, I'm not happy. And I hope you understand. It's humiliating. It's denigrating. As parents, to be hearing a story like that. To be discussing with victims. When you hear a mother crying about what a daughter is doing with her husband, as a man, you feel ashamed. None of us is holy. But not to that extent. No, man. No. No. We're not animals. So, guys, I would like us to think together. Let's start decolonizing our mind. Let us decolonize our spirituality. Let us decolonize our mentality. Let us decolonize our rela relation to each other. Let us, let us have love for oneself. Let us respect oneself. Please. I don't want to go much in details. I'm hoping to read from you. I'm expecting to get more of your comments so that we come more on this topic. We need to denounce every corner of the planet where this is happening in our kind of people, in our belief, in the people we share our culture with and tradition. It cannot happen. African will not like that. It's not us. So if you, you identify yourself as an African and you are a victim of this situation, denounce it. We're going to support you. If you see yourself as an African and you always find yourself a perpetrator of this section, you don't know how to stop it. Confide in us. We're going to help you. It needs to stop. I know one hand does not wash the other. We are not going to throw you in the fire. We want to save you from that fire. I'm not talking about heaven and hell, no. I'm talking about a virtual fire of destruction of your own self. Because your action will destroy you. And more men, which you have no idea, that will affect all of us. So my brother, wherever you are, my sister, wherever you are, I'm asking that the Creator and the ancestors, they awaken your spirit, they awaken your mind, they restore your conscience to stop what you're doing. It doesn't glorify you, it's humiliating you and all of us as men and all of us as parents. It's humiliating you as a woman and all the other women. Let us not give other people reason to treat us as animals. Let's treat ourselves as human with intellect and wisdom. Please. Please stop it. It's painful. Stop it. Guys, thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe if it's the first time. Do not forget to share, to comment.
and send us your story. We're going to support you. Thank you very much. See you on our show.